Good morning, guys. Okay, I am going to do a single video focused solely on how you get my projects from your online program to your offline program. I am going to now, this is your offline program, and you see this is Canvas's new uh, workspace uh, 2.0. It is fully available to everyone that owns a Windows-based operating system. As soon as you sign into Canvas Online, you will get a notification that pops up uh, informing you that there is a new upgrade. Okay, So I highly suggest signing into Canvas Online, retrieving that upgrade, and then you will be available or be able to have access to any kit that you have purchased. Okay, So I'm going to venture to the online place now. So here we are. So if I click project, well, that doesn't take me anywhere, right? I got to come here to my projects. So let's say this little guy, I want to work on him offline. Okay. How can I do that? Well, what you need to do is you need to title your project part. Then you need to click download. I'm going to download it to my PC. Okay, when it comes up, I'm going to pick a folder on my computer. I am not going to choose my SVG or my SVG. I'm not going to choose my USB. I'm going to put it in a folder on my computer. If I don't already have a folder on my computer that I store my scan and cut stuff in, I can come right up here, click new folder, and make one. Click new folder. I can type in Canvas and hit enter. Okay, so now I have a strictly Canvas folder. I can double click on that, and that will open it up. Eventually, I have too many things running. Okay, so now documents, Canvas, my Canvas folder is open. Here sits heart S F C M. I'm going to click save. Okay. That just went into that folder. Okay. So now I'm going to minimize this. I sit right in here now in my offline program. I'm going to come to SVG. I am going to come. Uh, let's make this bigger so we can all see what's going on here. Okay. Where did I put that? Well, I just created a Canvas folder in my Documents area, right here, Canvas. There's my Heart FCM. There it is. And of course, it's not going to come into color, come in in color. It never will. Okay. If I want color, I can come in here, and I can change. Oops, right up here, I can change it and put the color in that I want, okay? Understanding, yep, those hearts may disappear. This, I think, was white. And these were red. Okay, so now going to use my little arrow button here and see okay this is where the layers come in handy so we're going to do a quick layer tutorial for you layers oh these all went blue so this one So I'm holding control and tapping on all of the heart shapes to make them all blue. So control and tap. And control tap on that one too. Let me take you down. There you go. Okay, so that's how I did it. 
instead of trying to grab all of them and taking them up to place them on top of, I just grabbed the large blue circle and brought it down. So now the hearts sit on top. Okay. All right. So there's a quick how you get your project into your offline program. And then I just went ahead and added color. Okay. All right, you guys, if you have any questions, you can contact me at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.